Hello guys and welcome to my new LP, Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Silver Stars. This is a Mario RPG game I didn't do in a while, so I was just like, why not? I'll just play this one for you guys. I did play this a bit of practice before, so I'm just I'm just gonna go over I'm just gonna go over my practice file anyway. So I'm just gonna put my actual name here. One of a few times I could actually do this in this game. In any LPs I do. Please just enjoying yourself outside. I'm guessing Mario's house because I see a pipe back there. And of course, Mario's not watching her, so. Mazda just scoops her up. So basically, it's a song and dance. Right off the start of this game. And Mario jumps into action. I'm going to see the Clipper Cloud in such a long time. And dashes on through. Yeah, give it away the castle. Just go up to the beach as usual. Just ignore all these guys because these guys are just a fight because they're going to really fight up here anyway. The, the, the mechanic in this game is basically everything's timed in this game. Time your punches, time your attacks, and everything, and plus time your own attacks. For Mario's, for Mario's attack right now, you press A as soon as he, right before he's about to punch, he does not, he does, he does a second one, which does extra more, does more damage. And also, if you press A when your enemy is about to attack you, you also t will defend yourself and take less damage. Just like that, basically very easy. You gotta see these portables flying all over the place. And destroy the bridge. Like we need to go back anyway, because we gotta save Peach. We'll care about that later. Looks around. And he hanged him up. Hanged her up. And start hustling. Do they bother do they bruise you bother bruise you? Mario, right, prepare yourself. The great beyond. So just basically just punch up the Koopa. As you can see, that's the guard there. I just got a problem before. Oh, jeez. I didn't know you. I didn't really see him use that attack. And you hit him a few times. He should just say, Mario, look, the chain. Aim for the chain. So basically, he's just saying, Fine Mario Bowser is completely useless. So we'll just drop him instead. <laughs> I believe Bowser has like infinite HP, so that's why he doesn't hit the chain. So you're basically not gonna be stuck here for a while, just hit him. Hitting him, he won't really do much. And then at a certain point, he gets loose. Oh, what's that sound? No, no, no! It's a chain reaction! Hang on, cleaning. Hey! Coming, Mario! Fight, Mario! Fight! This should finish you. <laughs> and now we're both falling. I'm just looking down at him. <laughs> He's falling. Why? Well, you think you think you're gonna give her to you like to that, Thea? I wait. You always get in my way. This is it. I'm gonna fin take you out, Mario. Vaga, <laughs> fall again. And Bowser fell again. Oh, Mario. Oh, me. You had me so worried. Let's get out of here. Eek! Mario! I'm about to fall!
And the sword swimming into the castle. Flinged everybody around, apparently. And now Mario's flying on in. Right back to his house, conveniently. The pipe house. <laughs> You just hang in there. Hey Mario, a lot of people just use something called a door to go in and out of the cat the other house. Anyway, you came to pick up I came to pick up I came by to pick up Toadstool since she's a bit late. <laughs> okay, Toad, about that though. Yeah, I thought the, I thought the princess was with you, Mario. Where is she? Uh Mario, what's with the silent treatment? Are you telling, you're not telling me something. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, would you go? please go bring her back like you always do? Are you forgetting something? Come with me. Oh. Over you jump off, and the best place is to jump off in this box and save as often as possible. In case of emergency, you, wanna, you always start back to the last place you saved. So basically, you gotta start over. If you get a game over, he's saying, if you get a game over, you're just gonna start the old. You just start back where you saved last. And it's not enough for my practice LP. Practice. I kinda. I died. I got a game over because I wasn't focused on my health. Oops. So I basically started that over. That was so sad. I was not focused on my health, so I died. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. Talk about that. The sword's still here. And Peach is most likely still in there too, but we don't know about that. Halt, who goes there? A trespasser? This castle now belongs to the Smithy Gang. In our first step towards taking over this world, if we were to know the character around you, we practically, we practically own this world. Let's see what you do with this! Multi, multiple, multi yapping. <laughs> Destroys a bridge. That's one powerful mouth. <laughs> anyway, so we can't go back to the castle. So we don't know if Peach got flung away as well, or Bowser, because they're both still in there. We just only Mario was only flung away, and we can't back in there. I'm just gonna save because <laughs> reasons. So let's go back and just tell Toad what happened. You're back so soon? Did you forget something? No. Then what happened then? He defies physics. Basically, teach you tell and show him what happened. The Richard Brothers keep is now out. Just wonderful. Only I must afford to chat in there about the Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario. Okay. Ow! Oops, excuse me. Oh, the bump in your head reduced your HP level. Well, in the Mushroom Kingdom, this maybe I should perk you up. Get a mushroom. You wanna use items? Of course I do. Well, I see. You're just a real, a world traveler and experienced Mario. Now, when I rush back here, I had something to tell you. Hi, Goomba. <laughs> Ack, I remember! I came to warn you of the mushroom, mushroom is swarming with enemies. I just barely made out of one place. Mario, please, please do something. Perhaps I can help you. You want to know about time hits? I already talked about when I was in Kelsey's keep, so yes, I do. Yeah, you better watch out. He knows about time hits. He'll punch your lights out. <laughs> you got my bark and bite, huh? Uh, now why was I rushed back? Why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. That's right. I tell the channel about the toads too. I'll see you over Mushroom King. Just in case, take these with you. I get three of them. I'm gonna save again. Just in case stupid stuff doesn't happen. I'm gonna save a file. Okay, this time I'm gonna focus on my HP before, instead of my practice. Cause I didn't play in a while, so I decided to play this for a little bit. So we got Trooper Troopers and Goombas, so might as well might just fight them because they're just new. I'll just show off their attacks and stuff. Well, Goombas are not really that interesting. So basically just keep this time hits, there you go. I think all the Goombas can do is just bite you. They don't usually, don't head they don't usually have their usual ability about head bonking. Until later on. So... 
basically they just bite you in this. So now, you, now we got we got shy troop first. And uh, that's it. They just bonk you. It's just not really they're not really that interesting of enemies, really. Uh Goomba. You blocked my way instead of getting an item. And this shows the second thing about this game about this game. In certain battles, you know when you defeat certain enemies in these battles, they drop a they drop a flower which actually will give you based on what enemy is they'll give you different st different stuff. There's some enemies that won't really drop them at all, but some that actually drop these extra flowers to give you a little extra boost. The HP max is basically a full heal. It fully heal fully it fully completely fully heal you heal you to the max as you can tell, as it says. I think the only Goomba is the only can give you. There's other enemies that give you other ones as well, but there's some that just give it flat out to give you any for defeating them. And plus, there's also some of them might be just rare as well. You see, my flash, my life was flashing before my eyes for a second there. Get a little something in return, and we get a honey syrup. Well, thank you for that. Which fully, not fully, it restores their FP, which I really didn't use yet. Well, I guess I'll show it in the next fight. I'll show you over there, because apparently they're toad in trouble. Of course, they're always in trouble. The much of a pain as freaking Toad stole this. Oh shoot, I missed the timing. I wanted to scratch my nose. As as usual, I like the RPGs like I'm thinking. If I write it, I'm just gonna basically just skip like certain fights and if this is not something interesting, I'm not gonna show those. Oh, come on. Did I just defeat you? Why are you gonna bring more on me? Could you not? I guess I could just skip to run. Oh. Oh, wow. They, oh. Where did that. Holy. What? <laughs> okay. Apparently, they have a spike, but they actually can throw needles at you. Okay. I don't know how, but they do. I can actually have abilities. We can jump. As soon as we land an enemy, we press it. And we do extra damage. There's actually abilities that are immune or just flat out resistant to it. Or just weak. And, they, and the Sky Troopers are basically, they're stronger. They're actually weak against it. So, you fight them, you can get a lot of things from it. So, I basically just shut up again. Boom. Well, that in one shot instead of punching them. Just significantly more damage. Oh, let me see my HP. I really should focus on my HP because other times I don't want to get a game over on screen. That'd be that'd be kind of sad getting early in the game. And then we got a restore shroom. Another flower. You see a flower in the box before that actually boosts our FP by one. If we can we have like 11 F FP instead of instead of 10. We didn't restore our 10 before because I didn't really use any specials. The start of the game, I really don't use specials that much. So now we got interested in new ones, spinies. These guys are immune to jump. So using jump against them is a very, very bad idea. These guys are basically in front of you to spin around just to, 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 I guess, hit you with their spikes. And then they just throw spikes at you. These guys make more sense. They throw spikes. Um, I'm going to heal just in case. I don't want to risk it. Because <laughs> I don't know if she's going to die in one punch. I don't want to risk it because I don't want to get a game over. I'm just starting to freaking LP. That was so sad. And then we got a level 2. So basically, you choose a stat. We can use the hammer to boost our attack and defense. We got this to basically boost our HP, obviously. And we got magic defense. We can actually boost our magic and magic defense. For starting off, I really think I'll just boost my attack for now. Usually I just want one a card, but if actually if you don't if you actually use a uh, same stat over and over again, it basically just makes you give it one point each later on in the game, so it's like recommend you just go work on other stats as well. Cause it'll just make the move it'll just make that stat stale for a bit and just give you one point of everything at a certain point. Every time you level up, if you just focus on one stat, so just try not to spam it on one. I can't just say that I kept redundantly saying that, but you get the point. I just like it to just throwing spines as usual. Oh! <laughs> of course, Toad shouldn't have an easy time. Hey! You looking at me? My hammer and I don't like, don't like you. 
Meyer, be... You better be careful. He definitely is on a mean streak. Um, I'm just gonna... Actually, you know what? Nah. Screw you. Now I gotta show my... Now you got my hank... My, my hammer anchor. Oh, shit. You should have done that. Wait, why are there two of you? Well, this is basically the first boss fight in this game. So... All the guys are gonna do it, and then their second ability is just throwing, ha throwing a hammer at you. It actually does way more damage. Cause I don't know where the second guy come from, but he's just here. Of course, the hammer bros. And just a few hits, and they're done. Not really a tough bat. Oh, and they have Valor up. Okay, which I, if I recall, that boosts their defense based on their color. Cause if it's red, it's your attack. Alright, there we go. Are you noticing I'm taking zero damage to this? I know the game is not broken. If you time if you press your if you actually time your guard perfectly with the with the enemy's attack, you will actually take zero damage. So in certain cases if you time certain attacks and you take zero damage, you're basically it's basically you go through the entire match without even losing your HP. You have time if your timings, right? In certain cases, if you get it off, you'd be kind of broken, but... It's not every attack you can actually take zero damage to. You can't really guard every attack, though, but I'll show that later on. Thank you, Mario. I was running so fast that I wasn't watching where I was going. Mushroom King... Oops. I didn't mean to press that. <laughs> Skip over it. He's, I think he just... Mushroom King's ahead. Hey, where does Hammer come from? Huh. Hey, you know what this is? This is... It has a Hammer Bros sing insignia on it. No one can stand against you and you can wallet them with this. And we got a hammer! You never know, it might come in handy. You gotta pick up a hammer. Look at you moving. Let's see Mushroom Kingdom. But you notice here, if you get equipped, it's actually equipable. It has enemies. So we put this on. Um, I cannot. Oh, there we go. We have stats are 24 attack, but we boost put this on, it gives us 10 points of damage. So now we can hurt enemies a lot more better. It's really equipable, but it doesn't really tell you that, so I'm just say that. It's odd it doesn't tell you, it's just like, oh you have a hammer. You it just it'd be handy. Just have it around. Alright. I think it's not that late. Yeah, a little extra funny, another funny thing you can do. If you time you jump on this kid and run run stand him for a while. Mario John can jump off, get dizzy, and fall to the ground. He actually does the spinning flower, the spinning flower in the town, in the um, in the, in the mushroom way. You actually stand that for a while. You actually will, you will also get dizzy and fall off and and fall off and just fall on the ground. This is only the two places you can do that time. I just went back to the end here where I got the star star next to it, which fully stores the FP and HP because I'm just low in HP and just in case I forget. Uh, this guy over here. Oh, shut up. <laughs> he keep talking. I think he says something to himself. Oh, no, 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 lost. You know, lost because of you. Don't talk to me right now. Yeah, later on, I think he'll be able to play his game, I think. I don't exactly remember, but I swear it's like a game he could play. But I think it's I had to come back to him, like, maybe near the end of the game. There's not really much you can do in time. Oh. You're talking in front of, in front of this person. He forces you to jump. Like, I gotcha. I go to the item shop over here as well, but I don't use drop down. So let's just go to the... Oh, wait. Yeah, there's actually one thing I want to show. In the item shop. If we go down... If we go around here and go downstairs. I'm talking to this guy. I heard you stand before me. Okay. Now we do the jump. Okay. And we get a block. This, in this world, there's things called hidden treasure. These are awesome jumping abilities. Look for them. So yeah, there's all of the. There's actually area. There all these blocks all over the world, and usually give you a lot of good stuff if you find them. And I will be showing all of them. But there actually, it's another one in here. But it's based on this guy coming over to this side of the room. So I had to start going free for him to come around here. So this might take me a while. Come on. 
Basically, just what you're going to do is just basically block him until I force him to go that direction. Uh, but the problem is he's going to take her own sweet time. Okay, perfect. Now go over there. Keep going. No. Keep going. Go down. No. Dude. There we go. No. There we go. He died get another flower. So we got two FP, uh, two FP recovery, two FP up from all that, which is nice. So that's pretty much it. So now let's actually go inside the castle. I go to the Chandler. Oh shoot! There you are. I can tell the Chandler you're here. I wait down the hall. Okay, this one harping another toad and jump up. Here's another. Here's another one. Actually, actually, there's a green coin. We'll talk about that later. So let's just go to the Chandler. That's the only that one's actually missable. The only missable one in the game, so. So, Mario has arrived. Hello. Alright, thank goodness you're here. I heard an explosion or something from Bowser's uh, keep. It was so loud, I almost dropped my, <laughs> dropped my spores. Um, excuse me, where's the princess? Should a part of you... Uh, your house hours ago. Oh, about that. I fear the worst. Could Bowser somehow be all around behind all this? <laughs> and Bowser has be able to turn himself with all the characters. Spores alive, you're telling me that tell us that Bowser conducted the princess again? Never mind. It's up to you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Ozu. And it's in after that. You got Princess Peach. And the whole, the whole place starts to shake. <laughs> he flies up. And returns home. Returns back to the keep. There's a sword in the stash. There's a sword in it. And he destroyed the bridge and had to jump back up. And tell Toad that he couldn't come back in. You got it. Do you tell the keep is inaccessible? What awful powers at work here? Mario, her life is in her hands. Please, save her dear princess. Mar- Sudi <laughs> Sadif, Mario. I almost forgot. This may not be important- This may not help you, but... Why don't you take this along? You get a map. Mario! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that to break yourself. Forgive me. I can't stop worrying about the princess. Go to the cell and prepare, and prepare yourself for the journey. The vault, the vault guide will show us this you. Okay. Now before I leave, before I actually go see that, I want to go up here real quick. Over here. And check over here. You found Toadstool. Huh? Hey there, hey there, what do you think you're doing? I'll give you something to change, just leave everything where it was, where it was. And you get a mushroom. So... I think later on we'll see what it actually is, but for some reason it's a secret. It's a secret to everyone. Yeah, this is for Zelda. <laughs> Mario, the channel let me in. Come, let me show you around. And this is basically more tutorial stuff. Hit this block. It's a coin. The small ones are worth one, the big large ones are worth ten. This one's a ten. Hit this one. The flower. The more you gather, the more fire points you can get used to having battle. Find them. You already won a few of those already. And this one, we found like before the end of Mushroom Way. This mushroom restores the F HP, the HP, and the hit points and your flower points. Unfortunately, mushrooms you'll find as many as items as only restores your HP. So beware. So yeah, that one's basically you find it in like certain areas. They'll give you that instead. Um, let me see if there's anything else I'm missing. I don't. I think that's everything. Just give me the guest room. And then, for some reason, on beds, too, if you stand on jump beds, you actually, it's a bit of a trampoline as well. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all we can do here, so we'll just let leave. Come back here! Now, that's trouble as hell everywhere we go. Whoa. I'm <laughs> just going to... Come back here! Um, <laughs> what? 
<laughs> he tried to climb it. Oh, poor mushroom person. Oh no, that reptile! That reptile stole my grandpa's coin. Boohoo, -boo sniff! I can't cry. Big boys don't cry, but it—it's just not fair. What, is, what am I gonna do? Wah! And crying caused the place to rain. Rain or shine, I must fulfill my duty. I believe they talk to people. The reptile—he just stole my wallet. Don't let him get away. I'll just. Cheer him up, I guess. Yes. Jeez, you're soaking wet, aren't you? You're a very interesting person. I'm alright now. Sorry, I didn't... Uh, there's nothing to, There's nothing like a good cry. But why am I crying? Why was I crying? There's some reason. Oh my god. <laughs> you forgot memory loss, apparently. My grandpa asked me to buy some things for him. Right here. When I walked into town, that croc, that croc stole from me. Oh yeah, he stole he stole it from me. He stole my coin and chased it. I chased him and I, oh, he was way too fast. Mario, let's see it. Let's see you to, to, to take care of Bowser. I mean, wow, well, you kids, you just had a chance. Wow, are you the Mario? I know you. I know all about you. You have more jump than a box of a box of frogs. I'm Mello from Tasso Pond. I'm a frog, but you, but you can't. You, but can you believe it? I can't jump. Embarrassing, huh? Um, whatever floats your boat? You are nothing like a frog, but okay. His head is fed more than ever. How about it, Mario? You wanna help me catch that filthy thief? I'm a little busy. <laughs> I'm sure you won't be consider. <laughs> Alright, I'll help you. I'm just being funny. The young frog Mal, who doesn't look anything at all like a frog, has joined Mario's party. So we got a party member! A person who thinks he's a frog. Yeah, this world's interesting. But that is pretty much it for this episode. So the next time in Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars! We're gonna go after that, that cro croc. So I'll see you guys then. Later!